I get up early. My wife gets me up early, that's for sure. And uh, then we go to work. Well, I'm responsible for the kids that nobody gets hurt. They don't get the fighting. That's my job. I get along well with the kids. I get along well. I, if I raise my voice, uh, they get very quiet, you know. I don't think the kids have any idea who I am. Yeah. Their parents do, but they, they don't. What makes Ted Lowry interesting? Well, my record for one thing, you know, and uh, the amount of years that I did fight, you know, and though the people that I did fight, you know, I fought, I fought all the top notches. I fought Archie Moore. I, fought, I boxed your exhibition with Joe Lewis. I fought, uh, uh, oh geez, I fought all the top notches, geez. Probably your best known for your fight with Rocky Morciano. I beat Rocky Marciano twice. I didn't get it, but I beat him, believe me when I tell you. What I would say, probably you wouldn't like, I thought I beat him. But his name was bigger than my name, you know? And uh, so naturally, I guess they gave it to him, you know? But it would have, you'd have to ask someone that was there and saw the fight what they thought, you know? I'm the only man that went the distance with him twice, too. Never got knocked down or anything, you know? I started fighting when I was 19 years of age. And uh, I fought until I was 35. And I had 141 professional fights. I was robbed a few times because of my color, you know? And I was, especially when I was fighting a white boy, you know? I was robbed a few times, you know? I don't want to mention the names, you know? I don't want to take anything away from them, you know, but they're on top today, but they know they got beat. They know that I won. I used to hit with both hands, right hand and the left hook, yeah. I could knock you out with both hands, yeah. Don't let me hit you now. <laughs> I fought four world champions. I didn't realize until just now. Fought four world champions. I mean, you make me feel pretty good, man. Make me want to come out of retirement. <laughs> I sparred with Joe Lewis while I was in the service, yeah. He came to the, to the post, and there was nobody there for him to box, you know? And, and the, uh, one of the teachers knew that I had been a boxer before I came in, and they asked me if I would work out with him. I said, you got to be out of your mind. I said, Joe Lewis, not me. He's a heavyweight champion of the world, you know? The way he explained it, he said, the, all of these kids here never had a chance to see Joe Lewis Park. They say, and with your help, they'll get a chance to see him box, you know? So I said, yeah, but shoot, he's not liable to hurt me, you know? He said, no, we don't think he's gonna hurt you. You don't think so. <laughs> well, he wasn't able to. Believe me when I tell you, I was surprised what I was, that I was able to do. He wasn't able to hit me at all. I'll tell you what he did do, though. When he got me in that corner, he threw punches. Left, right, left, right, left, right. And I'm telling you the truth. I was fortunate. I was slipping and, 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 and catching punches. I never got hit in that corner. Would you believe that? Oh, my gracious. When I was in the service, and I was stationed down south in Texas. I uh, used to get a furlough, not a furlough, but a pass to go to town. And uh, in going to town, I'd get on the, on the, on the uh, company bus, the uh, army bus, and ride into town. And there also would be uh, some of the uh, um, German soldiers on there that were prisoners of war, you know, and they would get a pass for the day or for the week and they'd go into town also. And uh, they were allowed to sit anywhere they wanted on their bus, but we had to go to the back of the bus, you know, and uh, that was, that was kind of 
it kind of shook you up a little, you know? You got to get used to that. That was the toughest part about the whole thing, you know, the discrimination between the blacks and the whites in the army. It wasn't the, it wasn't the army, it wasn't the army. It was the people down south. We never had any trouble in the army. No, no dissension or anything between the troopers or anything, you know. It was the people on the street, you know. You walk down the street, you catch a bus, you know. It got to the point where we're used to that, going to the back of the bus, you know. No, I'm not angry. No, no, no. That's, that was interesting, you know. It was an education for me to a certain extent, you know. The thing that I'm most proud of is the fact that I was a paratrooper in the World War II. To think that I would have the nerve enough to jump out of a plane, that's, that's almost beyond me. Believe me when I tell you. How that, many? That's why I walk around with this shirt on, you know. You think I'm not proud of this, boy? I, I had 23 jumps. That doesn't sound like many, but when you up there in that plane and you got to jump out that plane, that's a whole lot of jumps. You're not talking to a dummy, you know. <laughs> you should see me when we meet, when I meet another trooper, whether he's white or black or whatever he is. I know what he went through, you know. To tell you the truth, I never thought I'd live to see the day that a black man became president. This will be something that we'll never forget black people. I've been married 43 years with the same woman. 44. How many, babe? 44. <laughs> <laughs> now we got to do a do-over. Uh, <laughs> you heard my wife just corrected me. It's 44 years. Ted, can you tell us what an average day is like for you? How do you begin your day? Well, I start in the morning at 6 o'clock running. I'm lying. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> You're not taping this, are you? <laughs> is he taping? Yeah. Hey, I'm lying. Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> I don't start that early. Yeah, I would say that being around the children really helps me to stay young, you know? I gotta be active, you know? And I gotta be on the ball all the time, you know? To make sure that the kids don't go do anything wrong. The kids don't even know that I've been a fighter. A lot of people don't know. I don't go around boasting about it, you know? Unless they see it in the paper or something. Hello, happy Thanksgiving! <laughs> Thank you. How you doing, all right? Happy Thanksgiving. Get, get this young lady here. This is my favorite. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Thank you, same to you. Your bus is next. Yeah. of what you sound like when you raise your voice. Sit down back there. That, that's it. That doesn't sound so rough. <laughs> I don't know how to, what it sounds like to them kids. They move, they sit down.
Yeah.